Meghan and Harry give compassion into action for Women's History Month. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex encouraged people to unleash a groundswell of real acts of compassion. With suggestions on their Archival Foundation website and did so themselves. On International Women's Day, Meghan linked to UK. Organisations she's been supporting by sending tasty baked goods from Luminary Bakery to the women at Hub Community Kitchen. Who came together after the Grenfell Tower fire to cook fresh food for their families and neighbours. On the 12th of March, the Duchess of Sussex penned a letter to reconnect with the students at Robert Clack School in London. Who she visited in person in honour of the 8th of March holiday last year. In her note, she said, all of you. The young women and young men here today, will continue paving the way for a better and more compassionate future. Meghan sent personalized notes of encouragement, in her beautiful handwriting, to women who received support from SmartWorks. A UK charity she patrons that helps unemployed women in need with clothing and training for job interviews, on the 16th of March. Akural Foundation worked with its philanthropic partner World Central Kitchen as well as YWCA Metropolitan Chicago, to organize a safely distanced lunch at a local Chicago restaurant for women picking up community meals. As part of the lunch, Meghan sent a lemon olive oil cake she baked. Last week, Meghan and Prince Harry surprised a teenager girl with a virtual mentoring session. It was really significant for her because they saw her potential in a few short minutes which actually really undid some damage that had been previously caused by a former teacher's doubt, L.A. Works Executive Director Deborah Brucci tells. It was just amazing how they were able to connect and how their compassion, in just a short conversation, really made an impact and is going to forever inspire her. Earlier this week, Meghan and Harry dropped in to speak with and thank a storyteller group from Moms Rising a grassroots advocacy organization mobilizing around the most critical issues facing women, mothers, and families. Christine Rofinkbeiner, executive director and CEO of Moms Rising, said. The meeting with Prince Harry and Meghan was a huge boost for Moms Rising members, some of whom are struggling without jobs, childcare, paid leave, health care, and other essentials during the pandemic. The Duke and Duchess were kind, compassionate, and incredibly supportive. Both on a personal level and of the policies that would help get their lives back on track. The Duchess also reminded us that, especially in times of self-doubt, we should take the opportunity to see ourselves through our children's eyes. Because to our children, we're superheroes. That really resonated with so many of us. Members of the Mission Continues Women Veterans Leadership Program received personal notes on the 30th of March from Prince Harry a veteran himself who served two tours of duty in Afghanistan. Idris Elba has defended Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for speaking out about their time in the royal family. During their highly controversial interview with Oprah Winfrey, last month, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex sat down with the chat show host and made some shocking revelations, including their reasons for stepping back from royal duties and claims of racist comments being made towards their son Archie. Idris who was a guest at the couple's royal wedding, was probed on his thoughts over the no-holds-barred interview. Speaking to E.T., the British actor was asked, We have seen in real life your friend Meghan telling her story of the black experience. What do you think about her courage, just stepping out and saying I need to speak my truth? In their defense, Idris replied, I will say that everyone has to have their opportunity to speak up about what they feel. He added, You cannot take someone's voice away. That's what we have to communicate. Idris previously opened up about his admiration for Meghan when she was a member of the royal family. Meghan, as a person, regardless of color, is a role model, he explained to Sky News. Of course, our society is one of mixed heritage and it's great to see Meghan within the royal family. It's great. And of course, she's going to be a beacon and of course she's going to be someone that people look towards. Meanwhile, and the royal couple had also touched upon various other topics in the one-off Oprah special. Including Meghan's relationship with her sister-in-law, the Duchess of Cambridge. And the state of her mental health following her royal wedding. The full extent of Harry's fractured relationship with his father Prince Charles was also revealed. As well as Meghan personally reaching out to the Queen when Prince Philip was admitted to hospital. In a lighter moment, 
Harry and Meghan who announced in February they were expecting their second child said they are due to have a baby girl in the summer. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.